This message is going to be a bonus for my Libras out there or Libra cross watcher. You can also reverse this more kind of like an extension than a bonus, but this is a little bit of a different message than I was getting yesterday, but you guys asked for it. So here you go. I'm getting in this one that somebody feels bad for something. Now, I don't know who this is. This could be anyone. It could be you and it could be reversed, but somebody does. It's like this, I know that I didn't do the right thing or I know that I should have been more responsible. I know that, I, and responsible can mean anything. I know I should have just done the right thing. I mean, that's what I'm getting. Like taking responsibility for something, taking accountability for something, somebody knows. I mean, that's... That's saying a lot, though, guys. I mean, the fact that somebody can even, you know, acknowledge that. I don't think anyone's verbally acknowledged this yet. Not outwardly to anyone else or to a person. Like, whoever somebody here, they're like, man, I probably, sh I could have, I could have said a little more or I could have been a little kinder or I could have, you know, probably d just whatever doing the right thing would have been. This could be anything. This could be somebody, guys. Someone. You could have been working somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to give you an example. And uh, let's say you were a cashier and somebody comes through your line and they're just like, you know what? Like just rude to you for no reason. That happened to my daughter, actually. She used to work at the spook place and this guy came through the drive-thru and just went the fuck off. Okay, like for no reason. He was just having a really bad day. And I mean, like said personal things to her, not even knowing her. You know what I mean? And just ruined her whole day. Made her cry. And I'm like, I'm so glad I wasn't there. I'm glad I wasn't there. But maybe next time I will be there. Because it was like right before she got off. But I wish that I would. It was about 30 minutes before she got off. A little little longer. I wish I would have been there. That would have been fun. But it wasn't meant for me to be there. Because it probably wouldn't have ended very well for him. Yelling at a little girl. But yeah, like that type shit. And then later on. Which is crazy. Well, literally, she's standing outside taking the order, and then he gets up to the window and apologizes to the people who give him his food. And she's like, well, that would have been nice to hear myself since I'm the one you went off on, but that's fine. Here's the thing, though. Somebody who is like, they understand they could have said more, done more. They understand that they haven't been doing the right thing or they haven't been being responsible or something or taking accountability for the majority of people, they, they're not verbalizing this yet. They haven't said anything because they're scared shit. I mean, they're scared or shitless. They're scared shitless about what you're going to say to them. Are you even going to respond? Like, this could go really bad or really good. Like, like, I should say the right thing. I should do the right thing. I should set the record straight. I should be kinder. I should apologize. Maybe even there's an apology. But someone hasn't actually done it yet. Um, something like that. Should do something. Someone's like, I, sh I just need to do something. So going back to the example, like somebody was mean to someone while they're working, or somebody, uh, maybe somebody outright did somebody like fucked up here. Could be anyone. Could be in a family situation. Could have been exes. Could have been new people. Could have been complete fucking strangers. Could have been neighbors. Could have been um, in laws. It's just like I. You could say somebody was having a bad day, but really, though, I don't know. Because there's a degree to this shit. Somebody could have just been having a bad day, and somebody could be having a bad life, you know what I mean? Where they just, like, they took it way too far. Either somebody took something way too far before here with you watching this video, Libra or Cross Watcher, or this could be completely reversed, or really just wronged someone, really fucked someone over, really harmed someone, really lied to them, really hurt their reputation, really did something deceitful, painful. I'm talking fucked up. Like, you good luck coming back from that. Or um, it's like, maybe it's just something small. Like, someone's been thinking of the excuses they could use, because they do have some excuses. Like, maybe they have had a bad life, or but they're going through a bad time, they're going through a divorce, a breakup, a loss of money, loss of work. A lot of stress, you know, but that's not an excuse as to why somebody has been the way they've been. Now, if this is someone who's done something, I mean, illegal, like let somebody, let's say somebody was like drinking and driving or something. Are you going to apologize to the cop? 
you gonna say, I'm sorry, officer, I'm sorry, I understand that I wasn't supposed to be sitting here drinking and driving, I'm sorry, but it's like, you're still going to jail, you know what I mean? Just because somebody here is, is, is considering, or maybe that's what somebody's worried about, somebody could be worried about turning themselves in or just doing the right thing because they're afraid someone's gonna turn them in, or maybe someone's afraid that if they don't come clean, other people are gonna tell on them. And they're worried about this because maybe somebody did something real fucked up, guys. Maybe someone's like, well, if I don't do the right thing or make, make something right here, they could they could react. And I could, like, this could get, oh, a dog barking in the background. If I don't do the right thing, this could actually get worse for me. So is that a sincere apology? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. All I know is that somebody here, it's like they know. Excuse me. They know that they were wrong and somehow you're involved I know that I was wrong or I know that I didn't say much I know that I didn't speak up when I could have I know that I wasn't very kind to you I was dismissive I know that I hurt you or know that I wasn't mature regarding a situation. I know that I didn't communicate well. Whatever someone knows. Because like I said, it's on a complete spectrum here. It can be like not so serious to very fucking serious. They know. This isn't an ignorant person. Whoever's done what they've done or whoever's done something wrong. No matter in what level. They've just been a dick. They know. They're a very smart person. This is an older person, too. I would say they're probably 30s and above who who should probably set the record straight here or do the right thing or apologize or at least try to, like, communicate something here, what they're thinking. But there's a lot of fear surrounding it. There's, like, this fear of righting a wrong, righting a wrong Mm, now, in some cases, okay, I'm getting two scenarios. I hope I don't lose them, though, because they're kind of coming to me quick. But in some scenarios, let's say we have people in a relationship here. I'm going to give two different ones that are coming to me right now. One person uh, in the, let's say it's a long-term marriage or a long-term committed relationship, and they have children together, but the children are grown now. They're grown adults. But one of them, at least one of the kids, is suffering from an addiction, and this addiction is starting to get to this child. And one of the parents can tell. One of the parents can tell that the child is starting to go down. They're not looking very well. They're, they're, they look sickly. And they can feel it. You know, parents can feel that fucking shit, especially if you're in tune with your kids. It don't matter how old they, they get. You know, their kid, their grown kid who's suffering from some sort of, like, addiction or health crises, this child could be, like, 30s, 40s now. So these parents could be older. But anyway, one of these parents maybe, like, hangs out with the child or goes to visit them, meets them, and meets up with them and starts to see this person, this child of theirs, this grown child of theirs, their health is declining, deteriorating is what I'm hearing. And they feel it in their bones, something ain't right. But they know they should tell the mom or they know they should tell the dad or they know they should really tell them how bad they think it is. But they're not. And they know they should, but they're afraid. They're worried. Somebody's worried here to speak out the words of whatever it is they need to get out. That's another scenario. Now let me give the other one I'm getting that's coming to me. Let's say we have another relationship here. We could have somebody who knows that the relationship is coming to an end. They know. Like they know they're not in love with who they're with anymore. And you know, they've toyed with the idea of like doing the right thing. But what is doing the right thing? Lying to everyone involved? Lying to yourself? Lying to, you know, just for the sake of what? Like excuses, right? Somebody here knows that they should probably tell their partner, hey. Like, they, they need to tell them something. If they want to if they want to open up the marriage and have an open relationship, they should be honest about that and tell their partner, hey, I'm thinking about having, I want to have an open relationship. Some of them want to have an open relationship again. Maybe people had an open relationship here, but then they stopped. Someone may need to tell their partner they're bi. Someone may need to tell their partner they're gay. Someone may need to tell their partner they don't want to be married anymore. Someone may need to tell their partner, hey, I'm thinking about having a sister wife. What do you think about having uh, dabbling in polygamy? Whatever it is that's on the inside of someone, it's wrong to hold it in when they know it's their truth, but they're denying it or they're lying about it they're keeping it to themselves but they need to speak about it they're doing the wrong thing by not speaking about it because it's living a lie that's another way this can go so i've got like three clear scenarios things that need to be said basically righting a wrong 
I, maybe I shouldn't title it that because I feel like in every scenario it should be titled things that need to be said. Yeah, that's it. Things that need to be said and now. If this is somebody that you know kind of did you dirty or they kind of vice versa, if this is somebody who knows they're like, damn, wow, they're kind of an asshole. Like, wow, I expected them to be a little kinder or say something nicer or not be such a dick or, or not do me wrong, not cheat on me, not lie to me or not be a fucking bitch, you know? The uh, Let's say they somebody's done something to you and you're like, wow, that's kind of fucked up, but okay, you know, you just, you, you could have taken the high road and just decided, you know, I'm not going to expect shit because, you know, I'm probably not going to get it from this person and that's fine. I don't need it. You, you, you didn't let something get to you too much, vice versa. Somebody didn't let something you did or didn't do get to them too much, maybe for a minute and then they let it go. Um, you could be like, if you're the one that let something go, you could have thought those things like, wow, they should, probably should have done the right thing. That wasn't really the best way to handle it or that wasn't really great at all what they did to me and they were wrong. And that's like, wow, like they really hurt me. Somebody could have really hurt you or vice versa, but you eventually got to the place where you're like, I'm just going to let it go. I could let it eat me alive. I could say, I think this person owes me an apology, but at the end of the day, you don't have any control over other people. I mean, they'll answer for it. You know what I mean? You just went about your life and decided, I'm just going to keep doing me. It's fine. It is what it is. I don't expect anything. I don't need anything. If it continues or we're going to have more issues later on, then I'll handle it. And at that point, I really will fucking handle it. But as for now, it's almost like you go your way, I go mine, as long as they leave me alone and I don't hear nothing else. And it's fine whatever. I don't even care. I'm letting it go. Well, they haven't let it go. Mm -mm. Or you haven't, if it's you, somebody here hasn't let something go because they, it's like their consciousness, like their, what's that word, my love? What's that word? Why am I not thinking about it? Is it consciousness? Their, their conscience, conscience. <laughs> their conscience is getting to them what is this? conscience is getting to them okay at first somebody may think like they kind of like ha 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 like yes like ha, ha fuck you you know what I mean like they they may have thought it was like funny at first or they may have thought like whatever but I'm telling you now that somebody stepped back and had time to think about stuff they feel kind of bad about the way they handled a the situation or you do somebody does and they just want to make something right Maybe somebody extends an olive branch here, it, depending on how bad the offense was, what somebody did, you know, but if it wasn't nothing too bad and somebody was just mean or just disregarded another person or just kind of didn't, I don't know, didn't take something seriously. I don't know. I think someone may, may extend an olive branch like, hey, you want to get, you want to get some coffee? You want to get some tea? You want to get some lunch? Or maybe give somebody a gift card or an apology card or something, send something in the mail, show up, knock on the door with some flowers and just be like, here you go, or, you know, send a little message, just be like, I'm really sorry. I mean, that would be sweet, you know? I don't think you're expecting that, though. You may not even want to hear from somebody. You may be like, no, nah, I don't even care. I don't need it. That's fine. Thank you anyway. Thoughts, that's thoughtful, but... think somebody wants to work with you here they want to work with you and they hope that you work with them but they're paranoid or kind of worried that you won't that's what I'm getting for this extension slash bonus message <clears throat> they definitely haven't talked you haven't heard from them in a little bit or a while either a couple days something a couple hours or in a while but now that they've had time to think about it maybe I should title it that why can I not figure out a title now that they've had time to think about it, they've had, that they've had time to think about it. 
you know, if it's like the relationship situation, it could be somebody who's like, now that they've had time to think about it, they should probably tell their spouse that their kid is not doing well. Or now that they've had time to think about it, they should probably tell their spouse or their girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, that they're not happy in their marriage or relationship. Now that they've had time to think about it, you know what I mean? If anyone's been withholding information here, that's the same thing as lying. I mean, I understand in certain parts you have to withhold information, but think of it this way. I told somebody this before. They're like, well, I'll tell, I'll tell my spouse that I was unfaithful to them, but I want to do it in segments, basically. Like, I'm going to tell them a little bit here and a little bit here, and it's like, uh, no. And when, in any other area in your life, when are you able to do that? Do you go into a courtroom and put your hand on the Bible? Not even your fucking hand, your pinky nail. Not even the pinky, just the fucking nail. Do you do that and say, I swear to tell half the truth and only half the truth, so help me God? No. No. You hear the rain? You put your whole fucking hand on it and you swear to tell the whole truth, so help you God. So if you're going to tell the truth and know that you have to do the right thing in a court of law, why would you not do that with a lover? Somebody here thinks that they could, they just think that they can... They, they could get away with something because, it, you know, they because whatever, it's not even logical. And at this point, they're like, no, it's not the right thing. We've all been there, though. Whoever this person is now, like I said, I don't know how, I don't know what this person did or you. But, um, I mean, they could even be an air sign or a Libra. Because it, the, the reason I say that is because I feel like somebody does want to, like, level out the plane. I feel like they want to make something balanced. They want to fix something. And a lot of times Libras will do that, you know, or air signs will be like, okay, because they think a lot. I love air signs. A lot. I mean, it could be grouchy, but, you know, I can be really grouchy too. I'm a bitch, you know. <laughs> I can be. I can be a bitch. But, yeah, I don't know. All right, guys, that's what we have for this message. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.